I prefer the words of Uncle Henry, who once said, this old incubator's gone bad and we're likely to lose a lot of chicks. Well said. But, Steve, there's more than just lyrical coincidences. Scene changes and song transitions match perfectly. The Munchkin dance seems to be choreographed to the song Us and Them. The song The Great Gig in the Sky works as a perfect score for the tornado scene, and when Dorothy enters Oz, the tinkling cash register for money begins. Surprisingly, this is only the tip of the coincidence iceberg. Yet the people who can answer the questions about the similarities between the two projects, namely the band members, aren't speaking. Well, Steve, what have you learned from all this? Well, I think I've learned that if I ever go looking for my own heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard, because if it isn't there, I never really lost it to begin with. Also, I prefer the yellow brick road to Pink Floyd, because there's no place like home. So what have I learned? One, that some people have too much time on their hands, and two, that thanks to the Wizard of Oz, Pink Floyd is staying in the green. I'm David Adelson for E! News. Uh-uh. No, just just say no. Now, who did you to like? To what, Pink Floyd? The whole thing. Who did you like better, Judy Garland or Dan Durbin? Ah, uh, our producer told you to ask that. Our producer? Mm-hmm. And your answer? Deanna Durbin, because she had one eyebrow. <laughs> We're coming right back with more.